All right, so let's talk about, mm. let's not start with all right, that's lame. Okay, uh, how, is okay better than all right? All right, okay. Um, oh, because there's, well, I'm not gonna get into A-okay yet. Uh, you were gonna go okay. I was gonna say yeah. A-okay. Because okay and then it's side A we're gonna talk about that you can totally tell it says on there. Can't read any you of You can't read the there. artwork on that, but um, it's a really nice font. It's very, it's, it's like an invisible font. I would say I it's a, I don't know where it is. I actually don't know what that font is. It just looks like somebody scribbled on it with a really fine tip pen. So the first song on Big Choice is Struggle. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's try to talk about Struggle. It's about putting the record out to begin with. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was yeah. about what a struggle everything okay. was to, to exist. Struggle, um, I don't remember where it fell in the sequence of writing songs but I do remember we were um, we were on the road before we had a session scheduled to record the album. We had a bunch of touring already planned, mm -hmm. and uh, on a stopover in Wisconsin, we were we stayed at Rob's mom's place in Beloit. Yeah, Beloit, Wisconsin. We had days off, and we went fishing on the river. Yep, I thought I caught my first fish. <laughs> A pike. That, the, that was the first time you caught a fish? Very first time I ever caught a fish. You never went life. to Mojave Narrows as a kid? Never or... caught it. I don't like fish. I don't eat fish, but I caught one. I don't I, like fishing very much. I'll let it go. Because it, it was like this big. It's a smart thing to do. Yeah. It was fun. We went on the river. We were, we uh, we went to a cheese factory. We went to a cheese factory. We did all the Wisconsin-y kind of things. We heard the word pop a lot. A Not lot. soda. A or lot. Coke, but pop. A lot. Rob's mom would come out to the garage. Like we were messing around on guitars and stuff, and need some pop. You guys want some pop? And we're like, no. I, that was fun staying there. It was. I hadn't so traveled nice. that much at that point. I mean, we'd been to Europe the one time, which was totally mind blowing for a kid from Victorville. That oh my god, traveled anywhere. But some of the funniest stories on that tour. But getting into into the Midwest is like the first time of us seeing other parts of the country and experiencing regional things. Yeah, and, uh, and it was cool visiting there. We so we sat down in Rob's garage or Rob's mom's garage, I should say, and had a little rehearsal because we knew we had this recording session. There was a lot of pressure. We were on tour, just being away from home already, and then knowing we had a record that we had to put out yeah. on a major label. Well, what they considered a major label. Everything was kind of feeling a little more legit, so yeah, uh, was, there was a little pressure. But Struggle, I remember, that was one of the songs we worked on while we were on that break on the tour. And, uh, you know, putting some cool stuff together in that song, like the little noty part in the pre-chorus where the bass goes down to oh, B, like and, B and, then, a, and then the guitar B, does that. Na, na, yeah. na, 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 na. That was some new stuff we hadn't tried before. The halftime on the chorus. Yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and the, oh my God, the, the scratchy record beginning, that, that was something that was added on later on, but still really funny to me. Yes, yeah, so, so one, that, two, <laughs> that was... A sidetrack on the story. I don't remember yeah. whose idea that was, but when we were in the studio... It was there, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. But I don't like rap you should, or hip hop. You should take credit for that now. Okay, I'll just take it. You liked the Beastie Boys back then. We all did. Uh, we oh god, gratitude. Let's check your head out at that time. We, and... we covered gratitude. Yeah, and that's right. Of course, <laughs> that was a great record. God, um, you were punk. Anyhow, uh, there was a guy that worked at the studio we made Big Choice at. I think his name was Lance. He was a DJ, and we had that. Bril Someone had the brilliant idea of why not get Lance to do. Some record scratching of the one, two, one, two, three, four at the beginning of Don't Turn Away. So we could also make that the beginning of this album have a little signature. Wicky, wicky. I, think I, I think I detoured us from actually writing the song at Rob's mom's. No, that's okay. Okay. Because I also remember walking through that studio around that same time. Yeah. And Quiet Riot was walking through the studio and just laughing because they were decked out in all their stage gear. They were in a studio. <laughs> they were recording something. Uh, the singer had twice as much hair when we saw them there than he did when they- His entire career. Were put out mental health. His, and like all those music videos and everything when the band was super famous, he was bald. And then when no one cared and they were at some recording studio in the Valley in Studio B when we were in A, he like, you know, looked like a, Italian mobster. I just remember walking like, by him and I saw Rudy Sarzo and I was like, hey, you know, he said hi and they were, he played with Ozzy for God's sake. That's pretty it was, it was cool it's and they were, they were, they were cool, they were like, hi. Yeah. But Kevin, dude, his, his, his <laughs> hair was this high above his eyebrows 
<laughs> and we're like, whoa, like how how'd you do that? That's that's like magic. Yeah. It's fun. it's weird recording at studios in LA because you you know You run into people, you know. You do. It's trippy, <laughs> the different bands that just are in these random studio I mean, it used to be that way. It's probably not that way anymore. A lot of people are doing a recording at home. God, um, there's little spots set up everywhere, but on Don't Turn Away we ran into um Ice T. I remember that. Yeah. I remember? mean in the nineties mm -hmm. you booked a studio. And there would always be like an A and a B and sometimes a C room and there'd be other people recording and you'd run into people in the hallways. It we was, were usually like in the G or... It was a trip. G room. <laughs> H. Somewhere so, down the line. So yeah, Struggle was, uh, was, I think it's a great album opener. It has some of the rap rock trappings of the 90s, some of those bad ideas, but mm -hmm. all in all... Um, you know, it's a song I still like to play and... Uh, it's it great. I, it, for the it was the first time I, I, I realized... Like the first record had a lot of cool bass stuff on it, but on this one I was able to do like a little bass solo-y kind of thing, which was weird because we got Chad in the band at that point. Yes. And there was a lot of cool guitar stuff we could do now, so we changed up a little bit of the sound, but it was still us, you know, you could totally tell. But I wrote that bass solo thing not knowing what I was doing. I didn't understand the notes I was playing. I just kind of, because Tom Wilson. Uh, the producer said, on the album. Who produced the record, uh, no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, let us just go through the songs. He says, I'll play live. We set up two guitar amps, bass, and drums. We played totally live. Yeah. Recorded the whole album that way, uh, except for the vocals. But, oh, so everything that you hear is what it was. We did like two or three. The bass line thing you put in there, it's kind of the break between the, the uh, first chorus and the second verse. It's, yeah. It was kind of like this rancidy sort of. It was, vibe. Like, yeah, because. Cause, uh, That's cool. Yeah, Matt Freeman was doing that stuff, and I remember thinking, oh, you can do bass solos in the songs still? I don't know punk bands to do that. Cool. <laughs> so I did it, and they let me do it, so well, I'm like, you, all right. You, but you pretty much innovated that on the first album. I'm that right. And that, no, well, I would love <laughs> to give you props for it, and you were rad enough to pull it off, but the reason why we even developed that thing that would, you know, kind of become a <clears throat> defining formula for us <laughs> is because I was such a shitty guitar player, and oh, we yeah. were a three-piece. So yeah. we'd write a song and we'd be like, all right, guitar solo. And I'd just look and go, I got nothing. You know what? You and then so Matt would be like, I could do this cool googly bass thing. And I, we were like, fuck yeah, that's rad. Do that. Which is where Google came about. <laughs> I uh, wish. Okay, we're going to edit that out. I wish. Um, anyway, you know, enjoy Struggle. We're going to save some more of these stories for some of the other songs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like access to even more exclusive face-to-face -face content, then please click on the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen to subscribe to the face-to-face -face official YouTube channel.